<laughs> we uh, we should go back to the Scorch tape. I'm thinking. Oh my God! Yeah, we I, got derailed last week. I, I hear Louis C.K. came in and other people, and uh, we didn't get back to the, the Scorch. His latest PFG TV. People like that. I hear tell there was a one after that, and the table's gone. Oh really? Somebody posted something on Twitter with a picture, right? A photo and said, "So maybe he's uh, the latest to us. one and the the table's gone." The, 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 the giant table's ridiculous. You gotta keep it though. Why don't we take a break? We'll uh, yeah. maybe yeah, play look, some PFG TV. Gone. Yeah, but he's got a new set. Hey, wait, it's a whole new set. Wait, because we made fun of the set too. Maybe, maybe we're seventy-two views. Maybe wow. we're kind of helping him out. <laughs> seventy-two <laughs> views. It's not a lot. Oh, uh huh. He obviously knows when something's up because it goes like, you know, episode one, two hundred views. Episode two, two hundred ninety views. Episode three, six thousand seven hundred views. That's because oh, of us. Yeah. The lazy rain pie thought it was because of her. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Oh, that's that's right. All right. He's probably like, hey, the show's catching on. So and why do we one seventy two? So why don't we just go with the brand new one he posted? Fuck it. We should. Why don't we do a little bit of that, of that after the break? Was good. <laughs> They're all oh, good yeah. though. So fuck it. Let's go to the new one without the table. See what changes he made. Well, we got PFG TV uh, ready to go here. Me, 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 me. Queued up and ready to go. Yeah, this is the. We were just getting into the last episode, episode but that, now there's a new episode since then, which is even yeah. better because uh, we get to go through his thrilling <laughs> intro again. <laughs> again. I want uh, more Lacey Rain, though. I loved her. Yeah. Fuck yeah, we got to get her on the show to talk about this fucking uh, show. Yeah. She was wonderful. Yes. You really care what she has to say, or you want to just hook up with her? Let's be honest. I would love to hook up with her, but honestly, I would love to hear more about Scorch's show. Oh, I would love her to talk about Scorch's show. Why the fuck haven't we been invited on Scorch's show with all the promoting we're doing for him, Sam Roberts? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I start to you know feel... people in his camp still, right? I, I feel guilty after we do these segments. I can't even Why? Talk. We gave him 7,000 views on his last episode. He only does 200 views. I know, but it's just, he doesn't like to be mocked, I don't think. He told me that he got um, Triple H into the business, you know. He told me that, too. Oh, yeah. Triple H, who's now running the WWE, and Scorch is somewhere in New Hampshire. Remember when Scorch was a wrestling manager? Do you know what his name was? What? Vito Carlucci. How, and how who did he manage? Was, yeah, who, who did he manage? Uh, well, local talent, mainly. from. He made it sound like it was WWF guys back in the day. Well, apparently there were talks mm-hmm. of him entering the WWF that kind of fell through at the very last minute. Why? Uh, He'd be great for them. That's some information I got from Scorch, actually. Scorch, <laughs> Scorch let me know. How was close very, was he? Very close. I mean, as close as one can be. Really? Yo, yeah. He actually, I think, decided to go for radio, if I remember correctly. That's kind of smart. Yeah. and uh, But he did get Triple H in the business before he left. So He did? Yeah. You think that's true? Do I think it's true, or was I told it's true? Well, I know you were told it was true. I was told it was true. Do you think it's true? No, I do not think it's true. No, I think that's, I think that's, <laughs> Where's I think Triple that's H from? true. He's, tr- He's kind of from up that area, right? Technically, from Scorch, that area? Scorch and Triple H both went to Killer Kowalski's wrestling school. Is that true? I know Triple H did. I know Scorch was associated with that indie group. He probably knows him. What do we know about Scorch that is true? Scorch's Pizza. People are looking well, for What hamburger. do we know about him? That's true. <laughs> what do we know about Because it seems like it's all one big fabrication. I'm a secret agent. <laughs> right. I got this double, all right, with that, double life. Without right further ado, let's get into picks. Scorch's PFG TV Season 6, Episode 4. Now, do you want the summary of the episode like last time? Yeah, definitely. Okay. <clears throat> In this week's episode, we've got an interview with former Bruin Scott Young. I hope you're a hockey fan, Scott Young. Yeah. Scott Young uh, played for the Bruins. Okay, that's pretty much all. that. That's the ground that you would cover? I, yeah, I don't know much about them. Okay. We've got a live musical performance by Sarah Lakita uh, and the Problematics, along with an interview with Sarah Lakita. Actor-comedian Steve Sweeney. Oh, boy. Steve Sweeney made it. Stops wow. in to tell some jokes with Scorch and Sibby. I bet. Oh my now, God. That's a key I, phrase. I can't wait to s- hear Scorch trample, trample his setups. Because he didn't say tell jokes to Scorch and Sibby. Right. Okay. Oh, I love um, it. Sweeney's this, funny, man. 
This is an action. Well, so is Scorching Civi. Yes. So this, this is an action packed show that you don't want to miss. You can now watch Scorch's PFG TV on WFXT Saturday mornings at 2.30 a.m. That's not Saturday Ooh. morning. That's <laughs> in the middle of the goddamn night. <laughs> yeah. That's not Saturday morning. I guess technically it's morning, but what the hell is he talking about? It still says that the show is live. Okay. Even though we can see the sun coming through the shades. Well, he's not going anywhere Saturday at 2.30 a.m. to do a live TV show. <laughs> right. <clears throat> well, I would like to um, see the great opening of uh, you sure you here. You sure you don't want to skip it since we've seen the opening before? Do you... No, man. Oh, please. <laughs> I love looking at uh, New Hampshire in the open. Uh, all right, let's take a look at New Hampshire. Well, it's... Live! Well, hmm? it's not New Hampshire, though. It's it? not? No. I've never been. It's it's live Santa... from the Santa Monica Pier <laughs> right. in beautiful California. No. Why no. does he have the Santa Monica Pier in his open? At one point, there's an over the airport that's shown is LAX. Yeah. Yeah. But that has nothing to do with New Hampshire. I don't get it. Maybe flights to the New Hampshire area. PFG Television Center at Red 13 Studios. Welcome to Scorch's PFG TV. I am Lord Dugman W. Godspeed. Tonight, on another exciting episode, two-time Stanley Cup winner and NHL legend, Scott Young. Also, you know him from Something About Mary and over 20 other motion pictures. It's Boston funny man, Steve Sweeney. Oh, and special musical guest, Limelight Magazine Song of the Year award winner, Sarah Lakita and the Problematics. Are these people? And of course, legendary disciple of rock and roll greatness. It scorches his co host, Sebastian. So let's give it up for your host, Scorch. Yeah, Pause. Yes, Pause. As we mock him, let's not forget we don't have a visual element on this show. Right. We're not doing some big fucking half hour uh, TV right. talk show. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you could if you wanted to. And look, why is he coming out with, like, they didn't fade out the fucking uh, other graphic. Look. It's a slow cross design. Slow off. cross, yeah. But he's not starting That's on the chair this time. way too slow. He's not starting on the chair. Is he doing like a monologue? He's walking out, and he is uh, pretending that there's an audience that he's asking to quiet right. down. Even though that's obviously a pre-recorded track. All right, let's go. Hello, welcome, my friends. Here we are. The... Very first episode, I'm going to talk about this in a second, but this is actually the very first episode that we are filming to be alive on Fox 25! Oh, yeah! What? Wait. How can you... Wait a minute. ...film an episode to be live? To be live on Fox 25. But he got on Fox 25? Did he? Did he, Opie? I don't know. I don't either. You can't take his word for Fox it. Fox 25 is the Fox affiliate out of Boston or Info New Hampshire. Infomercial. It's 2.30 a.m. Did he pay? See, that's what the people do. They buy infomercial time and just play a show. It's not like they picked up the Scorch PFG. No, he conned somebody into paying for his show. Yeah. It's an infomercial. Wait, an I think infomercial. I just got tricked by Scorch. Yeah, you did. Yeah. I was believing his hype. I'm He's like, holy shit, Fox 25. Louie watches us. And, oh, <laughs> yeah. Louie. <laughs> <laughs> you think he's going to mention that soon? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's, let's go. We made it. We made it. We made it. Timo Sabi. Uh, and you all know my pal, Sib Hashin, right? Give it up for Sib. Hey, everybody. We're now on Fox 25, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah. Uh, what's up with you, man? What's happening in the life? No it big sounds, table. It sounds like the crowd is dubbed in, even though they probably yes. are. Are they there? There's you, some people there, probably. You think when he said, yeah, they he's saying it, it to like three people? They're sweetening the crowd yeah. a little bit. Yeah. A yeah, little yeah. They fixed it in post. A little. Yeah, yeah. A little sweetening. A little. Yeah. A little bit. You're saying it's a, a little bit. A little bit. Just sweeten it up a little bit. Just a little. So we'll Give it a little punch. A little splash. A little splash. Yeah, yeah. We need a little splash more. No, you got to supplement those uh, live uh, applause. Mm -hmm. Right. Just, yeah. just something to beef it up a little. Just a little bit. Fill in the dead spots. That's right. <laughs> well, I just want to tell you right off that I had the best time reading Pause. both. 
It's, it, what's good is, is when somebody <laughs> disappears into the furniture, which is A, w- way too high, and B, it's a black leather couch, and this idiot's wearing black pants and a black shiny vest and a black shirt. It literally looks like there's a head and two arms It looks floating. like yes. his head and his hands are sticking out of the couch. Yes. You're right. right. He's wearing a leather vest on a leather couch. Yeah. <laughs> It's a Scorch. terrible outfit. What he's, are you doing, man? He's blending right into That's the funny. couch. Yes. And, you, and you know how you can usually tell when a room is full of people? If the voices uh, of the host echo. Right, right. And you yeah, can tell yeah. there's lots of, of people. Lots of they, people yeah. for it to echo off of. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but they sweeten that up in post. It's a little beefing up. Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> Hack by one of our first guests, oh, yeah. Jimmy Dunn. Yeah. I'm telling you. There's a couple of pages in here. One line is that it's worth the whole price. So if you get a chance to get it, you know, for us guys, we like to bring something in the, uh, you know, the Bacauza and, <laughs> and something we can leave there and read a couple in you know, our pages every day. This is the book. Thanks, Jimmy, for coming on. Thanks for writing another book. And you know what? I'd love to see a boat hack, too. Yeah. Wait, it's one wait, of those wait, books. I'm like, sorry. What's what? the Picasso? What? A, a, it's the, the, the toilet. The way a dumbbell the says toilet. But he didn't say what the line was. There's one line in here. Can you go back? <laughs> sure. This is. This should be on a website called worstbookdescriptions.com. <laughs> <laughs> There's a thing in here. It's uh, the best line. How about telling us? Listen to this atrocious mm. book endorsement. By the way, he still has the end table. Yeah, why wouldn't All he? right, that's all right. Yeah, you got to put your notes there so uh, they don't fall off. But yeah, off the table table's gone. That's really cool, too, when the angle shows 30 feet of the wall behind you. It's like he's sitting in front of the elevator on The Shining. It's red and black. <laughs> I, like, I like to think that the table was repoed because he didn't pay his uh, pot, pottery bar. I think that's it. Yeah. His rent-a-center, Troy yeah, Aikman came yeah, and took it back. Yeah, We're they took taking it back. your table, brother. <laughs> yeah, <Hogan. laughs> yeah, you really want to see that much. Uh, that's a great camera angle. Show how small they are in the room. We had the rule of thirds. One third is the people, and then two thirds is dead space. Yeah, right? it's exactly the dead wall space, which is distracting from. There's what? everything wrong with this visually. All right, let's let, I want to hear the great book description because this made me want to run out and buy it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's it's great, hear this. Oh, great opening as opposed to a monologue. Sorry. Uh, and you all know my pal Sib Hashin, right? Give it up for Sib, hey, everybody. Hey. On Fox 25, you know what I'm saying? Oh, so, uh, yeah. Uh, what's up with you, man? What's happening in the life of Sibnish? Well, I just want to tell you right off that I had the best time reading Boat Hack by one of our first guests, oh, yeah. Jimmy Dunn. Yeah. I'm telling you, there's a couple of pages in here. One line is that it's worth the whole price. So if you get a chance to get it, you know, for us guys, what? we like to bring something. Oh, my God. What? There's That's... a couple of, there's an entire book. There's a couple of pages in here. There's one line. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm supposed to rifle through 148 uninteresting pages to get to one line while I shit? He is a terrible co-host. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. I don't know what he's talking about. I know. He has a funny word for bathroom, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's hear sure that. I'm going to crack up. You like that, right? Yeah, it's very funny. <laughs> <laughs> If you get a chance to get it, you know, for us guys, we like to bring something in the, uh, you know, the Bacauza. And <laughs> I've never heard it called the Bacauza. I haven't either. Mm. I haven't either. You haven't? That's what, the, that's what the name of the studio should be. The Bacauza Room. <laughs> <laughs> Everything in the shit. <laughs> I'm glad you explained that. <laughs> and something we can leave there and read a couple in our pages every day. This is the book. Thanks, Jimmy, for coming no, on. Thanks applause. for writing another no book. No close-up on the book. <laughs> no, why Terrible would Terrible camera work. Now they're back on the fucking three-quarter room angle. <laughs> it shows Scorch and this guy in the middle of the fucking frame. Giant red and black striped wall behind them. Black couch. And he's holding up the fucking book, yeah. hoping the camera catches it. Yeah. And it's on the wrong angle. That's that's a two-shot. What are they doing? Everything There's, they're doing is wrong. There's too much space in that frame not being used. <sighs> And you know what? I'd love to see a boat hack, too. Because yeah. it's one of those books where I was like, you know, I was sorry it was ending. Plus, you're in the bathroom a long time. Many, many times during the day. <laughs> uh, Jimmy, for those that haven't followed along, Jimmy, I asked him to come and be part of this show again, uh, this first uh, taping for Fox. But Jimmy uh, is actually going to, he's, he's in a media freeze because he got signed to be in a sitcom on another network. But it's actually a... It's oh, a wait, 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 wait. <laughs> These are the little things a that I love. Freeze? This is no, brilliant. You missed the other one. This is this 
this is the only reason why I love playing this shit. He, in his mind, is the biggest fucking thing on TV. I love it. He what? said on another network. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another network. Right. He's competing with everybody, man. He, right. can't, he can't mention another exactly. network. Exactly. <laughs> There's a media freeze. They're not allowing someone to be on a show that's on another network. Another... Yeah, you're not talking about me. I'm not going to talk about them. Because does he mean Fox 25? Yeah. Like he, he, can't, he might he's say part of the Fox family now. Right. So he, he does an infomercial on. So <laughs> no, he's part of the Fox family. This so is he, brilliant. So he's not going to mention another network. That oh, would be stupid. Right. Is it a media freeze? <laughs> I got to hear that again. I got to. I got to hear what he's fucking talking about. That's oh, brilliant. All along, Jimmy, I asked him to come and be part of this show again, uh, this first uh, taping for Fox. But Jimmy uh, Fox. is actually going to, he's, he's in a media freeze <laughs> because he got signed to be in a sitcom on another network. But it's actually a, it's a prime time I mean, a prime time So, so, he on, on. Up. so what, what, what he's saying is <laughs> that everyone who does, like Leno. They're right. It has to be a show from NBC. Right. No, you have them on. You just say another network. <laughs> yeah, but he's, but he's not said, on no, that he's level. Not even going, like, he can't even go what on. What do we say? He's in a media freeze. <laughs> freeze. A media freeze. Because that's what you do. As soon as you get a sitcom, you go into a media freeze because yeah, yeah, you, you don't, don't want to promote anybody it. anybody about it. You keep it under your hat. <laughs> oh, sucks. my God. So, like, New Girl and the Mindy Project <laughs> and those shows, they don't get promoted. No, nah, they can't. Because Fox doesn't have... A can't. late night show. Right. You little can't do it. Little Scorch, you understand, right? Yeah, don't give me any credit, Scorch. <laughs> Mini Need Scorch. Pay. We can't mention the competition. You understand, right? Ah, uh, but yeah, but you don't have anything to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> Said he's in media freeze. He's in a media freeze. Can't do it. He would be good. <laughs> a media freeze on Gosh. another network. Oh, God. God yes. bless him. He is huge in his mind. He is. Off our show. Oh, he, he admitted that. By the way. Mm. I'm still waiting to hear if there's any actual applause. I'm not sure if there's... Ah, he's got friends, I'm sure. I'm sure this... I would bet there's about 10 people in there. Okay. And then they sweeten it, sweeten it up in post. Give it a little spice. A little yeah. spice. He, okay. Every other line was going to be TV, and they got pissed off at him, but they still <laughs> let him stay, you know what I mean? So what else is going on in your life? Well, you know, I'm really excited about tonight's show. Yeah. You know, we've got a professional ah, hockey player ah, on who's winning. He's head and arms in that couch. <laughs> <laughs> that couch has a head and arms. <laughs> this looks like a head and arms sticking out of the what couch. What a horrible outfit for that couch. Oh, my God. He couldn't have picked worse if he was doing weather in a fucking green, <laughs> green shirt and pants. <laughs> oh, it's funny. <laughs> oh my god, is that atrocious? Mm. Yeah. Ooh, Stanley Cups. Yeah. yeah. A local guy too, an American, yeah. a rare <laughs> a rare breed. <laughs> and we got the fantastic Sarah Lakita band. How, yep, you know How good mean. is that? And Mr. Steve Sweeney's in Steve the house. Sweeney's in the house. Oh. In the house. Boston legend. Big movie star. Steve Sweeney's oh. here, y'all. So that basically, uh, Steve is a big you know, what's movie up with my life these days? Uh, yes, he is, uh, y'all. Now, Scorch is going to tell you what's up with his life these yeah, days. Yeah, I'd like to know. I'm just glad nobody asked him. He can't yeah. get that Fox 25 thing out enough. Yeah. <laughs> I could be He's on proud, though, the Fox affiliate here in New York. Yes. I could go, I, I could go and, and say... I would like to buy a half hour of time. How much when is you, that? When you get infomercial time at three in the morning, whatever it is, and go on and, and do it. Mm -hmm. You're you're allowed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then you go to a local access studio, and they will allow you to film in that studio for there free. There you and go. You got great. a show. You want to yeah. do it? Yeah, yeah let's yeah, do we it. Should do that. <laughs> nah, it takes work. That would be funny if we did that. That oh, would be very be. funny. If we that's did a sort of public access show. <laughs> well, that's what we did up in Boston. Real Rock TV. I mean, they bought time on a Spanish station. And we're on... That was a really high budget, though. They they, uh, they shouldn't have shown when you ran out and you made the noise. Like, put on my mic. <laughs> <laughs> it's <just> so frenzy. <laughs> you remember that. Oh, that's oh, my yeah, favorite you moment. I was oh, hoping... We gotta go. <laughs> I, was, I was hoping you forgot about that. You remember that, that's huh? my favorite moment <laughs> in the entire thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking hack. Stupid fucking act. Let's hear what's going on in Scorch's sure, uh, let's life. Do it. So that basically uh, fills the deal. You know what's up with my life these days? No I, uh, I crashed my Jeep. 
Oh, no. Oh, yeah, I crashed my Jeep doing no more than five miles an hour. I crashed my Jeep. Who was in the Jeep with you? Uh, a friend of mine. All right. <laughs> you know, you first, the, I, have this, I have a new young lady in my life. Uh, hey, Kimmy, nice to see you. Uh, and uh, Sibby, the first day Sibby met her, Sibby gave him one of her, one of her one, uh, Sibby gave her one of his pat, did, uh, pat downs. And for no reason at all, all of a sudden, Sibby gets out of the bar stool and says, oh, I'm going to pat you down. And I'm like, I noticed, though, as I think about it, he didn't say pat you down. What did I say? Pat you down. Pat you down. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, oh, she's a sweet. Be. Could possibly be. What? This is good. This is good the stuff. The most inane, no, it's good stuff. Useless, boring conversation I've ever heard. Do you know what it is? Uh, this is devoid of charm. <laughs> <laughs> it is drivel. It's yeah, you know what I mean? It's it's literally oh. charmless noise. <laughs> 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 oh man, little scorch! What are you thinking of? I don't. I think it's interesting. They're jealous, scorch. They're always jealous. Everybody's jealous, of you buddy. Right, We're on Fox Twenty Five. I'll get oh. back to this in a minute. Here. Fox Twenty Five. Remind people, the audience. People care about my life and what happens, right? Yeah, tell them about the Jeep. This is not. Say hi to Kimmy. A story <laughs> you convey to it's, people. It's good. Scorch is wearing. He has a fucking a burger, like a weird orangish colored couch, which blends into the fucking red wall behind. All yeah. these colors are horrid. No thought. No thought was given to what was going to be on the couches, what was going to be behind them, yeah. the lighting, the camera angles, nothing. Yeah, but he'll fix that because he got rid of the big fucking table because of us. Fuck Dwayne Burr. I want to do a talk <laughs> show where I have a bright red suit on and I'm sitting in a bright red chair. Oh, be, that would be great. <laughs> that would be <laughs> great. Annoying. That's right. If you intentionally did it. Mm hmm. Not you should intentionally. Just do a series of really bad one off talk shows on random public access channels. I'd love to. Just see what sticks. That'd be yeah. fun, actually. Yeah. All right, continue. Congratulations. So, well, thank you, man. You know what? Thank you very much. Uh, we, Your mother's got to be really happy. Well, it, it's good you know? because I, I was finally able to stop dating her. So, <laughs> so that's a good thing, you know. Uh, anyhow, yeah, we got a great show today. <laughs> Yes. Let this opening be no indicator. <laughs> we have a great show today, despite we haven't even had a mildly interesting moment yet. <laughs> Poor Scorch. Why did he mention crashing his Jeep? Because oh. it was uh, it was really a great. It, it gets you curious. Yeah, he's uh, yeah. he's he's kind of endearing himself oh. to uh, the audience. He's he's being like, you know, hey, look, it happens to me oh, too. But he never uh, explained why he crashed at five miles an hour. Well, no, why would he? No, why would he, no. he, he have follow up? Why? That would be interesting because that. That's almost impossible to do. It was at least the beginning of a story. Yeah. I'd love to hear the end. I wouldn't mind. I would have liked that one. Wow, Thatcher led Britain from seventy nine to ninety. That was it. She was done years. in nineteen ninety. Then John Major picked up. Holy fuck! Ooh. Yeah, if you don't know, uh, Margaret <laughs> Margaret uh, Thatcher died. The Iron Lady. Yes. Yeah. Well, she obviously always had neatly pressed clothes. <laughs> <laughs> she, was, she was the Iron Lady. <laughs> 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 now let's get back to the board. <laughs> <laughs> Space shot. No. That reminds me it's time for weird news, folks. Oh, yeah. yeah. Why should bring the song back? <laughs> weird news. Can you make this now, big, let's Sam? start off with the human yeah. statue story, okay? Uh, in Australia, you know human statues. Human when, statue. When, when people, they put on they the put green the white, makeup. They put the white yeah. stuff oh, in there. They freeze, yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? So there was one in Australia. <laughs> you know what I mean? And this kid, this kid knew that he was a human statue. So he tried to be one of those, you know, those pestering. <laughs> so eventually, after touching him all over the place, nothing inappropriate, uh, he gave him a wet willy, you know, one of these things, in the ear. Oh, I hate those. So the statue broke form, okay? The statue got up off the pedestal, punched the guy right in the mouth, uh, broke his jaw, and knocked all of his teeth out, you know what I mean? So uh, what I would like to do is, at this Pause. point... That's a lie. We've seen the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that he doesn't knock all of his teeth out or break his jaw or get off a pedestal. No. <laughs> no, those incidents didn't happen. Well, you just, saw the video, right? I did. He, he just threw the, the punch and hit him, and the guy walks away. Wait, he's pumping, and yeah. pumping up the story a little yeah. bit. And, and the a guy had spice a, to it. And there a was spice. a severed head, and he was running with the severed head. <laughs> and there was a severed head, and there was a child <laughs> suicide bomber. <laughs> We got to punch. Uh, whatever. Why didn't you show the video? You know what I mean? Maybe he is. Maybe. Oh, okay. I don't know. Does he show videos? No. Let's see. Does he show any too? Let's see. Where's they the don't want to take anything away from Scorch time. Got up off the pedestal, 
punched the guy right in the mouth, mm -hmm. uh, broke his jaw, and knocked all of his teeth out, you know what I mean? So, uh, what I would like to do is, at this point, I would like to issue the very first, or the very first, rather, Scorch's PFG TV listener viewer listen, challenge. Hold listen on, Bart, go the, back. Listen to the applause. The worst. <laughs> wow. Wow. That. Worst applause introduction ever. It, first of all, it's so fake. And the applause they're, they're, started too early. They piped it right. <laughs> it's, it's early. And, and they started before, like, who would applaud? Which makes it more noticeable. And the entire audience the, started applauding at the exact right. same time where they shouldn't have. You gotta cue that shit up better. This is hilariously bad. Oh, we got applause settings. Let's hear that again, please. I would like to do is, at this point, I would like to issue the very first, or the very first, rather, Scorch's PFG TV listener <laughs> viewer challenge. Pause. <laughs> they're, they're applauding because he said PFG TV, oh, basically. <laughs> If they applauded at the end of, oh end of the setup, then it would kind of work. <laughs> Listen to that again. <laughs> no crowd would just all start applauding at that point. All of his teeth out, you know what I mean? So, uh, <laughs> what I would like to do is, at this point, I would like to issue the very first, or the very first, rather, Scorch's PFG TV listener <laughs> viewer no. challenge. No, now applause. You wait. Oh my God! Because there's an anticipation thing there too. They applaud after what they're applauding has been stated. Yes. Yes. And this is like applause you would hear at like Radio City. Yeah. All right. With a full crowd at Radio City. The Rockettes yeah. going right, into right, the right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. line. <laughs> and uh, it's the same yeah. gusto. I love when they look at it. The fake audience that's not there. Yeah, he's looking out at the fake audience. There's not. There's there. not an audience there. No. This should be viral. This show should be fun. Oh, my God, yes. This should have millions of views. Millions. Yeah. I told you they like me. Whew. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Within the next two weeks. Did you catch that edit? Wow. Oh, you fucked it up, so they had to redo it? Yeah, you can see completely. Let's see. Let wow. See. Wait, man. This is a challenge, though. This is We're good. ready to hear the first PFG TV challenge. We're making Psyched. people wait for it. Mm -hmm. Psyched. Issue the very first, or the very first, rather, Scorch's PFG TV listener viewer challenge. That's when you hit the applause. Right the challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Within the next two weeks after to see this show, great. I am going to be Ooh. somewhere in downtown Boston as a human statue. Whoa. So, here's the challenge. Oh, no. You have to punch every single statue that you see from now to the Listen next two weeks in downtown Boston. Laughs. If you are the lucky one to punch me, it's Rupert I won't punch you back, but you're going to get a huge, huge special prize that the Scorch's PFG TV lawyers are working on getting us right now. So, as we speak. As we speak. So make sure you punch every statue you see. Everyone. You can get the grand prize, folks. Yeah. But he didn't the, say what the prize was. Right. But do you understand <sighs> what a lawsuit that is waiting to I, happen? I know, but <laughs> if you're going to have a contest, you got to get everything figured out. Dude, the laughter that was piped in, the, <laughs> that fucking, was that, the, the fucking The no, laughs were real. The no grand prize, <laughs> grand prize. The lawyers are working on it. The fucking... What lawyers? You gotta... No one's working exactly. on it. There are PFG TV lawyers. But they should have the prize already if they're going of with the contest. Course. Do you think that, uh... Holy shit. If a statue got punched in the face and somebody said PFG TV told me to do it, the person with the statue would have a legal case against Scorch? Oh, yeah. Yeah. He said I'm... I think so too. For a lawsuit. Yeah. I cannot get enough of Scorch. This is fantastic. It's amazing. Let's let's hear more, please. We're on in the middle of the night, and a lot of people have just been drinking as they watch the show. So oh. you know what? We're not really going to give you any prize, but I guarantee oh. you, some people are still going to go oh. around punching them. Stop stages. punching! Hell yeah! yeah. You know, those are our listeners. We love you. Those are our listeners. Uh, the world's strongest Back. cause again. Oh, my God, was that bad applause. Who does yeah. this? They do this on their home computer? It's really bad. They're just he, uh, sweetening the audience a little bit. Just just pumping it up a little, a little right? Bit. Just a little, a little bit. bit. You know what? We're not really going to give you any prize, but I guarantee you some people are still going to go around punching them. Stop statues. punching Hell yeah. You know, those are our listeners. We love you. Those are our listeners. Uh, the world's strongest cup of coffee, Death Wish Coffee. Have you heard about that? I just heard about that. Brand new. <laughs> you just heard about Shit. it. When? 
<laughs> last week. Tell us about Death Wish Coffee. Okay, this guy's <laughs> Death Wish Coffee. He's got... That's so awkward. It, 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 there's no chemistry here. <laughs> Not a, an iota. Is it iota. a sponsor? Are they trying to get into one of those? I don't, I don't know. know. That would be like... The show's a mystery. If Jay Leno was doing headlines right. and he asked the band leader, you heard about this? And the band leader was like, yes. And then Jay was like, oh, I d uh, I'll give him a pass. Right, you tell him then. I'll give him a pass if this is a sponsor, sponsored thing. I don't care. They just had a, a tough uh, time. <sighs> Working it in. But. This is fucking funny, though. You yeah. like it? Fuck yeah, man. This is guy you hear the audience are going crazy. Yeah. yeah right, right. Right. My band's supposed to be on. <laughs> the uh, the skull and crossbones. All right. And he's he's ch made a challenge to everybody else. This is the act, the strongest cup of coffee you're ever gonna drink. I saw 600 milligrams of caffeine. Shh. All right. Uh, see, I don't. I'm uh, one I, in the pause, world of, uh, of uh, now, uh, now, What a non-idiot would say <laughs> is this is how many are in a regular cup of coffee, right? right. So that we he gives no basis of what that that is. I yeah. don't know how strong it is. For all I know, a regular cup of coffee has 610. Right. right. Or is it three? <laughs> exactly. I don't know. I, have no I idea. wish a non-idiot had given that description. <laughs> it, right. it, it's really bad. Yeah. Wow. Six. Hundred milligrams of caffeine. Shh. All right. Uh, see, I don't. I'm one I, in the world of uh, of uh, hallucinogens. I like downs, not ups. Do you like being yeah, that? The syndrome. Not that you have. I do one cup of the real thing a day. <laughs> okay, I want to hear about like, yeah. one cup a day gets me going to the kadunka uh, yeah. flunk, whatever he calls the toilet. <laughs> Look. In that up. Not nah, I, I do one cup of the real thing a day, and then I'm like, I'm wired. This thing has the strength Maybe the pills of uh, double the strength of espresso. <laughs> and it comes with a disclaimer warning the uh, drinkers, believe it or not, to have many sleepless nights. Okay, I mean, that's insane. Uh, you can get it's it on like Amazon Nuremberg, right the now. The Nuremberg rally flags behind it without the swastikas. It looks very Nazi-like, yeah. the black, red, and white. Nazi, because you should not see this. <laughs> 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 and then he has, like, a red couch that blends in with the red in the back. Uh, it's just hideous. Yeah, mm. yeah. Right. Uh, drinkers, believe it or not, to have many sleepless nights. Okay, I mean, that's insane. Uh, you can get it on Amazon right now. $16, or a 16-ounce bag, 20 bucks. Huh? 16-ounce huh? bag? 16-ounce bag, 20 bucks. I'll give you a 20-ounce bag for 40. Uh, you know what? We'll talk about that off here. We can't do this now. Oh, we'll talk about oh, that later. Right, so, we got one final uh, weird news story. This is interesting. This is charmless. I guess that was a pot reference. Huh? A charmless, yeah. terrible joke. Hmm. I don't understand what... I don't think it was set up ahead of time either. I don't think they uh, discussed that they were going there with that. That coffee thing wasn't a news story. No. It was just explaining that there was coffee on Amazon if you want to buy some. Oh. There but they no... needed to go there so they could set up their really good uh, drug joke. The pot joke? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it was strong, wasn't it? it was yeah, really it was a good strong. joke, but I mean... It's great. Yeah. Christian Erba of Poland, amazing new world record. This guy drove up, uh, rode his bicycle up 2,754 steps to the top of the Shanghai World Financial Center. One hour and 21 minutes. Yep. That's all it took for him to do that. How about that? Unbelievable. You're, you're in good shape. Uh, I wouldn't could do you that. Ride your bike up, you know? What do you do to stay in shape? Uh, oh my God. God. So He's what? interviewing what? his <laughs> co-host. They, they have nothing. He goes, so he finds articles and he goes, okay, then I just riff off this. And then he got to the end of the article and he went, ah! yeah, I got nothing. There's no wit. There's nothing here. <laughs> You don't think so? It's it it's oh, devoid great, of though. anything. It's a it's a visual and audio vacuum. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, Ape. Uh, what do you do? You that? Ride your bike up, you know. What do you do to stay in shape? Um, play drums. Oh, so <laughs> you did you ever play in what bands have you played in? Boston? I played in um, hardcore and Boston. Were you in Boston and. Dirty water. Dirty water, give it up. That's the one. Yeah, all right. Anyway, it's a good news, bad news situation. The good news is... That's another terrible the, the edit. fake fucking... I love it. 
What a set of and balls then, on then, him. And then they started the applause early because they thought he was going to say Boston first. Yeah. Anyone else pick up on that? <laughs> no, they didn't start anything. The editor hit the button early. <laughs> oh, the guy that was supposed to sweeten it up a little bit? Yeah. yeah. Sweeten that in post. Please sweeten it up. <laughs> sweeten up the laughs. It's amazing. Dirty water, give it up. That's the one. Yeah, all right. Anyway, it's a good news, bad news situation. The good news is he did break the record. Great. But obviously, as you can tell, the bad news is nobody ever... <clears throat> Spoke about it. There you go. Oh. And that, my friends, is today's oh. installment of Weird News. What? Do you get that? No. Fucking funny. Smoke uh. like a bike, you cocksucker. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's <laughs> fucking good. That whole thing was a setup to say no one spoke about it, but but that doesn't make sense. <laughs> no, it yeah. Doesn't. Holy fuck. What are you talking about? No one spoke of it. He just did. I'm I'm stunned. Yeah, what is I, I, he went all that distance for a, a spoke joke because <laughs> it was joke. a bike story. Spokes, spoke, yeah, spoke, spokes. Whew, wow, that's good. Yeah, that's great. A bike has spokes, it does. M more, please, please, please. Uh -huh. What a hell of a show today, wow, my God. great show. We have got coming up a uh, great comedian, Steve Sweeney. We have got Sarah Lakita, and we're going to be talking about the Arrow Chicks and so much more. And we have got uh, professional athlete Scott Young coming up right next as we continue <laughs> with more of Scorch's PFG TV. <laughs> I think he wanted to say right now. Yes, he was going to say right now <laughs> because he realized there's, there's nothing there's happening. Nothing to go to. So he had to say what? right next. What, did, right did the band set up so they could play for two seconds? Yeah, let's see like the band. Last time. Yeah, where are they? Okay. Does he have a band to say in this episode? No. no. We couldn't afford the Welcome band. Welcome back to Scorch's PFG Welcome TV. Back. You didn't go Very away. special Pause. guest right now. Wait, do, uh, do there is a new problem. I want to see something. The audio's not synced up with the video. <laughs> yeah, now his mouth isn't moving <laughs> with the sound. Can we go back to to the, the end of that one yeah. and the new beginning? I want to see something. Okay. To just the end and the beginning. Go ahead. I want to see mm -hmm. if his left hand has moved on that couch at all. Yeah. Or if it's exactly in the same position, meaning he just... Okay, good, try it. Yeah, that they just... So much more. And we have got uh, professional athlete Scott Young coming up right next as we continue <laughs> oh. with more of Scorch's PFG TV. Oh, oh they clap, clap. Shit, okay, what matter? Welcome back to Scorch's PFG TV. Very special guest right now. Oh. Uh, the guest, uh, pro hockey player. No, 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 go to... A lot of stuff yeah, going yeah, yeah. We can't do this whole thing. Get right ahead. We gotta do, Sweeney. Uh, yeah, we gotta go to Sweeney. Go to Sweeney. I want to hear st poor Steve Sweeney's thing. jokes get stepped on by... Oh, yes. He will trounce yeah. every setup he tries to do. That's Scott Young. Yeah, so. that's the fucking hockey well, guy. Let's see the band. Who the, who, who, who the, who the chick is. Got the... Oof. Oh, oh, boy. What a pig. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. 70. What a thump. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait. What is this say? What is, wait, wait, what is this say? a minute. He's outside? Hold is on this, a minute. I see a car driving. Oh, oh no, no. They're setting up a bit. Is it a bit? Is yeah. it a bit? Yeah, okay. Uh, let's see the bit. Because Sib is in uh, a, robe? a robe, and he's got a, like a cup, a cup of tea or coffee. Yeah, what's happening? Let's, uh, let's, let's see. see. And it's three younger people in their 30s living with three older people in their 70s. And one of the commercials, there's a girl in the back seat, and the old lady's looking at the GPS saying, I don't know how to use this damn thing. And the girl in the back seat is looking at a map book saying, I don't know how to use it. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's amazing that uh, it's you know, times have changed. What kind of a crowd do you get at, at an event? <laughs> um, <laughs> hopefully the craziest ones. Um, you know, it's a huge uh, variety of people. To, honestly, yeah, right women, there. men, Fucking young, Sibby old. In this, in Sibs the vids. I get the opportunity and I'm honored and privileged <laughs> to show a video that I've taken somewhere in this wonderful country of Oz, supported by one of the songs that my old band, Ernie and the Automatics, just released. I want you to sit back, get your favorite drink, get a smoke, Arsenic. put your feet up, <laughs> relax, right. and enjoy this week's fit. Uh, is it since is it all movies? Looking yeah, at a beach, palm trees, all shakily taken. Yeah, it's video. like a tsunami video. At least that's what it was. <laughs> um, it's like a bad music video. Yeah, horrible. It's just driving, driving down the road I, in a Caribbean town. It is good stuff. Put it in the show. 
What is this? I don't is this know. a guy driving down the street in like fucking YKK? It's terrible. Sips fits. Oh my god, they just... He's still driving! Why wouldn't you cut to something else? Holy shit. He's driving shit. in real time! It's still driving. It's still pointed at the fucking windshield. Just showing you a nice see a scene. car in front. He's just on a road. He's, he's still driving! Sims vids are terrible! <laughs> it didn't even change again! No! It's no. one long shot! Out the windshield! No, no, wait! Oh, at least uh, show the fucking ocean you're passing. He doesn't even show the ocean. No, I want to see how long he just drives. It's a camera that's pointed out the windshield. It's. it's what the fuck are they doing? <laughs> this is hilarious. It's nothing. It's absolutely nothing. <laughs> it's just a shot out the windshield as he's driving. Oh it's, and there's nothing to look at. Nothing. It's not even a nice area. No, no it's, it's a who gives a fuck area down in the Caribbean somewhere. How careless and sloppy. <laughs> Just people on bikes. Oh what is this? God. I don't know what this is. It's, this still, is, it's still the same shot, by the way. Yeah. yeah. Just the camera aimed stupidly out the front window. Do you think this would be a... All right, oh, all right finally, now it's now Another it's road, road. A tree-lined suburban area. At least he made a cut, but he still has the shot out the windshield. That's it. This is terrible. Now he's you now he's showing you bushes and houses he just on the showed side. A shrub. Everything's oh, going by way too fast. You can't see anything. Fucking terrible. Site. Fuck. Why would Scorch think this would be good for the show? I don't know. What he almost shows the driver. Yeah. You're not even showing the knuckle on the fucking steering wheel. Wow. Wow. This is terrible. What the fuck. This is terrible. What is the point of this? No point. Oh my god. Alright, let's hear how they come back to it. Yeah, yeah this fuck literally it. has another two minutes. Yeah, what? Fuck, fuck it. No, we skip, can't make skip it there. Skip I bet that. The, I bet that the fucking bands pay money to fucking have their songs played. Yeah, it's but he's Sib's just band. driving. It's Sib's band. Oh. Alright. There's better ways to fucking play the song from your band. Yeah, how about you bring the band in? Let's hear Scorch now coming back. Alright. Uh, at least he shows a sunset at the end of the thing. Oh, it's just atrocious. What the fuck was that? Welcome back to Scorch's PFG TV. What a show so far. Oh, what a great show. They don't acknowledge uh, we're it. very much loving the no. fact we are now on Fox 25. Oh, Fox. Yeah. We're going big time. And I'm so excited about oh. this. Our guest, By the way, the special camera the work, it's on score if you see Sid's <laughs> yeah. left hand and watch. You and gotta go one shot or two shot. And there's, you can't have just the guy's left hand and left knee. And there's so much room <laughs> to, to scorch right. his side where they could absolutely get both of them in right. frame. We're hearing him carry on a conversation with a severed hand. <laughs> right. What is he, going for Stanley Kubrick? Just fucking making everyone uncomfortable? <laughs> what are you doing? It's terrible. Do you think Scorch's notes are uh, secretly tucked away? Uh, maybe. Or are they just shoved into the couch? Shoved there? into the couch. Oh, <laughs> I gotta pee badly. I'm gonna run and pee. Oh. What? No. I have to piss. I no. can't hold. Oh. How, how long has this been Little broke? Jimmy. I gotta piss desperately. All right, so when we get, why don't we do a quick break? Yeah, I, I, a break. I, I can't hold. And then we'll do the Steve Sweeney I thing. I want to move on other yeah, shit. That sounds right? good. That right. sounds good. Opie and Anthony. This is the Opie and Anthony Show. Serious <laughs> Serious XM. This is the Obi and Anthony Show. That's <laughs> so true. Uh, we went to the bathroom, and uh, the PFG TV with Scorch just is making me mad. Yeah, everyone gets mad just talking about like what's wrong with it. Well, they they set up Sib's video. Yeah. And you're thinking, okay, cool. He's gonna show a cool video or something. Nope. And they, I mean, the he setup, doesn't. the setup was so long, and he has a wardrobe change and everything to set up his video. And then it's, and it's just a, a shot out, out of windshield for four minutes. Yeah, terrible. The fuck was that? And it now we're looking terrible. at a, a, an almost two shot. You can't have an almost two shot in the business. No. You either have a one shot or a two shot. You don't have a one shot with a guy's left hand and left knee in the picture. Especially when you're talking to that guy. Right. Like, then you hear his voice, but you don't see him. It's you see all of Scorch, and you see a here. left hand and a knee right now. That's it. Fuck, this That's is enraging. Where are we at? Uh, where Where did we leave uh, off? I think oh, we want uh, Sweeney. Yeah, we want Sweeney, then we'll, we'll move on as far as this goes for a while. Oh. Wow. Hmm. Oldest comedians ever. Oh. Uh, Aristophanes actually got lines <laughs> from this guy. Many different kinds of lines, including comedy lines. <laughs> uh, this is our pal Steve Sweet. Oh, yeah. Hi, oh. Rewind. 
Rewind. Rewind. Watch them stand up out of frame. <laughs> really? Do they stand up to clap for Steve Sweeney? They, they, their heads are out of frame. No, they're not. No, they're not. Come on. Alive. Watch. This is basic TV production. Oh, this is great. Literally basic shit. There we go. All right, good. Actually got lines <laughs> from this guy. Many different kinds of lines, including comedy lines. Uh, this is our pal Steve Sweet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're just looking at his cross. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to say that never happens on Leno, Jimmy? No. <laughs> never? Half of Scorch is showing, and one quarter of Sib is showing as they stand up to greet uh, the guest who is coming out. The big guest. Wow. <laughs> Steve Sweeney. All the, right. The great Steve Sweeney. Let her rip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Hi -oh! laughs> so, sit down. What is this? That's good. Uh, yeah, this Jesus. is the yeah, future. Yeah, of... Thanks a lot. What an introduction. This is the future of the Yeah, Steve you know, I've done over. <laughs> let me tell you something, all right? Since I got that introduction from Scorch's P I S S show, I've done over 20 something <laughs> movies, some about Mary, me, myself, and Irene. And yeah, you know, no one could be madder at me the way my career has ended up in the third floor of a freaking abandoned building in Framingham <laughs> with a bald-headed host from freaking New Hampshire. Sibby, I'm, su I'm surprised at you putting a knife in me. I'm sad. These are called feelings. What's your name, Scorch? Yeah, you can come whatever you want, man. You're, yeah. you're the, you're the uh, superstar. But anyway, I take what I can get. You shouldn't make fun of old people. I've been very depressed, if you want to know the truth. Why is that? Well, I don't want to get to the cause of the depression, but what I did was I went to a veterinarian the other day, and the guy said, where's your dog? Where's your... I said, my apartment's too small. It wouldn't be fair to the dog. He said, so what are you doing here? I said, I want you to put me to sleep. He said, what? I said, you know, I want you to put me down. So... Uh, and he said, what are you, crazy? I said, do I look crazy? <laughs> do I? Do I look crazy? I look like those guys you run away from in the subway. <laughs> so he said, uh, I said, so you're not going to do it? He said, no. I said, of course. I said, so will you fix me? <laughs> <laughs> and he said, uh, fix me, you know, neuter me, you know. He said, this is what he said Whoa. to me, Sib, and I know you're a dog lover. He said, you're a little mangy. <laughs> so what I'll do is I'll groom you. So he gave me a chew toy, and anyway, listen. <laughs> I am here, you know, because you were wow. talking about, you know, your love of animals wow. or whatever yeah. you're lying about. <laughs> wow! You hear what he just said? Whatever you were lying about. <laughs> <laughs> this is really uncomfortable. Steve wow. Sweeney hates him. It looks like they don't know each other. Yeah, and Steve Sweeney realized he got himself into something. Like, he's like, what is this? Like, he, was, he was probably lied to. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. 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 Fox, Fox 25. It's good. Yeah, it airs on Fox 25. They got 20 million viewers. Right. And then he realizes. Worldwide. Oh, my God. I'm in some fucking. Yeah, you can fucking... tell he's not into this at all. No. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, what yeah. the fuck is this? We want a little bit so you can hear him say a lie. What else you lie Yeah, what else he lying lie about? about. <laughs> Neuter me, you know. He said, this is what he said oh. to me, Sib, and I know you're a dog lover. He said, you're a little mangy. Story goes nowhere. <laughs> so what I'll do is I'll groom you. So he gave me a chew toy. And anyway, listen. Oh. <laughs> I am here. He won't even look at scores. You know, no. because you were talking about, you know, your love of animals or whatever yeah. you're lying oh. about. I am here uh, for a very special cause that I'm involved in. I am running a 10K Sunday for the restless leg syndrome. <laughs> and uh, as you can see, they're very restless. And I also am afflicted, and I know this is just comedy to you people, with the irritable bowel syndrome. So I try to crap Sibby, and I can't because my legs are so restless. It's very oh. sad. Oh. And uh, then there's a million the man march this? in Washington, of course, for erectile dysfunction. And we are going to march, Sib, and I hope to see you there. <laughs> All right, so listen, I've been waiting two hours. Start firing some questions at me. So right. Pause. Why wait in two hours if it's live and we're only 50 minutes in? Because right. they probably keep retaking stuff. Wow. Um, 
You can see Steve Sweeney is miserable being yeah, there. Yeah, he is He's not, not enjoying this. Not a happy man. I don't blame him. Being one in bit. that uh, studio. He was one Terrible. of the guys, I, I told you, one of the guys I, I beat out for Lucky Lily. Oh wow! It was me, him, and one of the guys. It's the only time really? I've met him. Yeah, I liked him though. He's he's obviously wow. a very funny dude. He's a very funny guy. But you can tell he just fucking wants nothing to do with this. I wonder what it was about. He probably had waited too long. He was probably annoyed, and, and Scorch put him on last. Right. He's the biggest of those guests. Ah, oh, he should be up front. Oh boy! No one's still watching this video. Only us, because we're obsessed with it. Seventy-two views. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and we are going to march, Sib, and I hope to see you there. <laughs> All right, so listen, I've been waiting two hours. Start firing some questions at me so All I can right, get out of question, here. First question, how are your two dogs going? I love your two dogs. I got two great dogs, and I also have a good friend named Sibby, who is absolutely, out of millions of men, the worst loser on the golf course. He pouts, he storms off, and he, he takes my money all the time. And as now, you, wait a minute. How do you lose I know. and take somebody's well, money? Well, I mean, the one that? time you've lost, and he's living off The Rock. His daughter is with The Rock. <laughs> we don't tell people that. The Rock, the rock is sending him money. <laughs> and now we owe the WWE money for mentioning him. Now, <laughs> now a lot of late-night hosts do uh -huh. use toothpicks, and I know that you're starting a trend with that. Yes. <laughs> yes. No, anyway, you're, you're, uh, I've been watching this show. It's a great show. Uh, that's it. Is my segment over? <laughs> Jesus. No, you know what? Oh, I want, can can I relay a that? funny yeah. story? Yeah, go ahead. With me and Steve? <laughs> yeah. Because we go way back. I mean, yeah. I was a big fan of his, you know, going to shows. Wow. And he used to, he'd see me and give me these yeah. looks, you know. Yeah. Then I'd see him in a couple of weeks later. Finally, he goes, you know what? I said, I think this guy's connected. You know, he thought, and yeah. I finally yeah. introduced myself. I said, and we've been golfing buddies for the yeah. longest time. But we also yeah. were judges on the community audition show. Yeah. Right. What? And... One of the years, a couple of years ago, Steve was on the final show, yeah. and I was really disappointed with the selection they made. Right. And just to give you some, some legs, uh, I've sang a harmony with Brad Delp on two world tours. Mm. I sang on record in live with Sammy Hager, mm. and I also sang live and on record with uh, Rick Derringer. So I like to think I know what I'm saying about vocals. Right. <laughs> anyway, I wasn't really happy with the selection they made for the grand prize winner. So I call up Steve and I go, Steve, I go, what the hell's going yeah, on? Great story How did so you far. pick her? What are you out of your freaking mind? You know, don't you know anything? Right. And he says, you know what he says to me? He says, go f yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and he hangs wow. up the phone. So I wait a couple of weeks. Yeah. I call him back. I go, hey, Steve, hi, this is Sibby. You know what? I already did go f myself. And it was good. <laughs> well, and then I said, let me finish. And I said, can we go off later on today? He goes, sure. Yeah. So, you know what? Let me, let me that tell you a good friend. You can tell your buddy friend. to go screw. Holy yep. shit. Well, let me tell you my story. version of the story. Yeah, okay? story. <laughs> because, as you know, I sang harmony with John Lennon and Paul McCartney. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm the first to admit that I don't know anything about music. I wish music. he was singing with Bradley Depp while the barbecue was going. What Sibby does is he takes these 12, 13-year-old children Yay. and he crushes their self-esteem. They're, they're sitting there wide-eyed in innocent little faces. And they'll, they'll look at them and say, Think about Walmart! <laughs> And then the parents will come up to you Am afterwards. I to you know, get it's, it's a great, I love doing the show, but the parents this. will. I don't happening. get this. I don't get it. I'm hearing people talking. This isn't funny. But I'm not understanding no. what the fuck they're even talking it's about. This is excellent. I want to hear more. This oh, is God. Really? cringy. Yeah, poor Steve Sweeney. It's not fun anymore. But even Steve Sweeney, I, I understand he's pissed, but I don't even know what he's talking about. Scorch, thank God, has just shut up. Right. He hasn't said a word, and fucking, you know, that magic story Sibby told. Wow. I'm not having fun anymore. No. Oh. No, no, I'm just mad. Well, that's where we well, part I company. In... I'm enjoying this quite a great deal. I got I got mad in the bathroom with the, the video out the windshield. It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that Sibby's was. Vids? Sibs Vids? Uh, Sibs Vids. What is, what is he talking about? Uh, Sibs Vibs? Sibs bibs. Sibs bibs. Please, more of this uncomfortable interview. You want really? more from. Dude, I've right. never heard an interview that made me this uncomfortable. Come up to you and, uh. Do you know how old my daughter is? <laughs> I don't know, 14. Yeah, she's only 14. Why don't you give her a 10? You know, so, yeah, you're right, Sib. Oh. I should have. 
That's all right. You won. You know what? No, I you got, know what? No, I got kicked off. No, 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 I got kicked off. No, 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 no. You so. know what? <laughs> I voted for the person that you liked on that, uh -huh. but I was over. I was over uh, ruled by <laughs> Joyce Cole Haywood. <laughs> so you can tell her to go f herself. Well, I got kicked off because they, they had <laughs> some nasty rumors about me and Joyce in the back room, and that, not, you know, so I'm gone. Yeah. Oh, so my rumors worked. <laughs> uh, but you know what? Wow. Here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing. This show, I mean, the momentum it's gotten. <laughs> anyway. Um, Can I ask you one question? Yes. I know you have, you've had a stellar movie career. And I actually have been in the biggest movies of the oh, summer pause, twice. Pause, pause. He, he, he cool. hates Scorch. Oh, he won't even look at him. Jesus. Nothing better than an inside story, first of all. I love oh. it. And then... Like the the quality of the video went from really light to dark. Yeah, yeah. He does hate Scorch. It's, Hates him. He won't even look see, at him. See, he's not looking at Scorch. He's he pissed because he show. was he was he was sold a bag of goods here. He was sold something what, that this isn't. What was he told this show was? I don't know. Probably anything but terrible. It's a talk show on yeah. Fox Twenty Five. He was told a number of listeners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a Could lot have been, of lot but he of was fucking given, viewers. He was given a num. I mean, yeah, I meant viewers. He was given a number though, like yeah, yeah, yeah. whether it's a hundred thousand or a million or it's something huge. impressive. Sib, you know, Sibby is is the co-host. So he said there's a big YouTube friend of yours. You know, scores like Sib. Come on, you you know, get some of your celebrity friends. <laughs> we need a big a big get. Do you think Scorch is annoyed right now that Sib is getting to do this on his own? No, he's clueless. Scorch the ab doing a great job. Over Scorch here. doesn't care. He's just sitting there going, "This is great." <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. All right, a little more. Really? A stellar movie career. <laughs> I actually have been in the biggest movies of the summer twice. Back to School, if anyone remembers that, yep. and something about Mary. Right. And I was in Me Myself and Irene, and I just did one called The Makeover. It was on uh, ABC. It sucked. <laughs> and uh, my part sucked, but I've done a lot of independent movies, and I'm producing two things for Showtime and Comedy Central. So I met like hey, don't mention an executive, the other networks. you guys have an executive producer. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. you know, he's dressed worse than I am. Yeah. <laughs> and now I'm an executive producer. There you go. So you know what the question I got about is yes. in, uh, What's it? Uh, something about Mary. Yes. Was that it classic real? Classic scene. Was it real? Exactly. I, you know they cut that out on TV all the do time. Do they? Yeah. No. My wife doesn't even think it's part of the show. Right. But they have this scene where yeah. every I'm, guy's done it. Accidentally zipped up his right. uh, his pack, his uh, nutsack there, or whatever. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> and it's and they show that in the movie, <laughs> right? It, well, what it, was that? It wasn't Ben oh Stiller's. Thing. Was it your God. Was it your package? No. Let me. Was it your? Yeah. I love the accents. Holy was it your package? Shit. Here's the best part of that whole thing. <laughs> Here's the best part of this whole wow. god-awful exchange. Yeah. Steve Sweeney wants to commit a murder. He's being nice to this guy because he plays golf with him. Yeah. He wants Scorch he's to mad die of cancer. <laughs> and, but here's the thing. Scorch is so left out of this, and he knows it. At least he's smart enough to shut up. Uh. But he wants to be a part of it. So he, when, when Sibby says something about zipping up Scorch, just to get in the mix, goes, yeah. <laughs> 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 please, <laughs> please <laughs> listen to Scorch's <laughs> <laughs> and, and you know he's now mad at Sib. Oh, he's just because Sib got him involved in this yeah. nonsense. Scorch doesn't know this is a bad segment. He just knows yeah. he's And this will probably ruin their friendship. Oh, yeah. maybe not we'll, at first. Maybe but we're gonna like... see a new co-host. <laughs> right. No, it, it, it's gonna ruin Sib oh, and, oh, and Sweeney. Sib and Sweeney. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Sweeney goes, "What the fuck? Yep. What did you get me involved with here?" That's gonna come out. I'm telling you. Yep. Right? It, well, what it, was that? It wasn't Ben Stiller's thing. Was it your, was it your package? No, let me... Yeah, we gotta get that. This scene where yeah, every I'm, guy's done it, accidentally zipped up his, right. uh, his pack, his uh, nutsack there, or whatever. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and, it, and they showed that in the movie, right? It, well, what was that? <laughs> What was that? Hold on, we're missing something It's else called a too. fucking, like, a prop, you yeah, dunce. What you, there's no reason I'm... Ah, exactly, that wasn't a hamburger on the hibachi. What was it? Your friend's head. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Chucky and Queens. Chucky's in love. What's up, Chucky? Wait, I can't get enough of it. It's unbelievable. I can't, I'm obsessed. Well, well I was asking Jimmy in the bathroom, like, I don't even know if this makes good radio. I don't know. I just get mad. I'm obsessed keep with it. it. I don't know if I'm outnumbered out there, but keep it going. All right. Fair Let enough. Something. In the very beginning, you guys were, you were cracking up about the physical shot, how he took himself out of the camera shot, but you missed a line when he was like, we, made, we waited in many comedy lines. 
but those weren't the only lines. <laughs> like making all. Uh, oh yeah, no, I caught that, but it was joke. just it was just one more in a, in a long in a sea of terrible jokes. <laughs> Oh my God! Classic scorch. Keep it up, boys. Oh uh, yeah. All right. I love this well, Sweeney interview. Play a little wow. more. I'm gonna believe the this one guy. Terrible. I'm gonna believe the one guy that this is working. This? And Steve Sweeney's not even enjoying it. I mean, he's no, having a God. miserable time. No. He's putting no effort into it. He just wants None. to go home. Because he opens up with, "I've been depressed. I'm not gonna go in for the reason for the depression." I would love to have talked about that. Yeah. yeah. You, know, you gotta you push him on that. Oh, dude. Scorch doesn't care. Of the scene where yeah, um, every guy's done it, accidentally zipped up his right. uh, his pack, his uh, nutsack there, whatever. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> and it's, and they show that in the movie, yeah, right? It, well, what it, was that? It what wasn't was Ben that? Stiller's thing. Was it your Was it your package? Yeah. No, let me. Wow. <laughs> See, the, the, level of, the cable, level of huh? questioning on this show is. Let, let me just. What I don't, I don't like there? to get into this, but it's the level of cable. Go, uh, the level of questioning on the show is outstanding. But did you, you know, a uh, little, little Scorch, I would have handled this a little differently. You know that, right? It's all right, Scorch. Sit back. They all know. All right. I'm going to hang Sometimes you shine second. brightest when you're just sh sitting back. You sure? He knows. Uh, no, he doesn't. He hates Scorch. Hates him. Who does? What's his name? The Steve comedian. Sweeney, yeah. Steve Sweeney. He's because a legend. He's, Steve Sweeney's a legend. He's sit Scorch is sitting there trying to include himself, and Steve Sweeney, he paused for a second. Yep. But then when you realize Scorch was just talking, you just start talking over him. I want I want to just get guests that were on this show now. Yep. That's what I'm saying. That's <laughs> yeah, all I, I want get to do it is now. I want, I want Steve Sweeney. Can we get him on the phone? Because I want to know why. He is so mad. So something went down. He realized probably when he showed up, like, what the fuck? This isn't a big TV show. <laughs> Let's work on getting Steve Sweeney on the phone. I'd love to talk to him. Right? It, well, what it, was that? It wasn't Ben Stiller's thing. Was it your, was it your package? Ugh. No, let me... <laughs> wow. <laughs> See, the, the, level, of, the cable, level of huh? questioning on this show is let, let me just... I don't, I don't like to get into this, but <laughs> I am going to take a moment to talk about my package. <laughs> <laughs> when women see me naked, they always say the same thing. <laughs> I can't believe you're white. Anyway... Um, <laughs> This is why, as I mentioned earlier, me. erectile me. dysfunction Excuse is such me. an important Excuse issue. Excuse me. Yes. Steve, I don't get that. I know. But you're, you're from New Hampshire. I'll do it slow. <laughs> hey, listen, I know we go out to New Hampshire. You New Hampshire people. I go into New Hampshire. At the top of the sign, Sibby, it says, welcome to New Hampshire. Bienvenue. At the oh, bottom, man. it says, bienvenue. <laughs> I've been in New Hampshire a number of times. No one's ever come up to me and said, Oh, bonjour, monsieur. Comment allez-vous? Bienvenue. It's more like that. Uh, there's a bayer over there. But I want to congratulate the people of New Hampshire on that. Whoa. Camille on the highway there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what is it? Kangamangus <laughs> Highway. That is up. Uh, I like your version better. <laughs> This is wow. your show. I should be looking at you. No, it's okay. I don't want to look at you. Go ahead. Look at you. <laughs> I, I was on Letterman, and uh, people say, how was it? I said, I don't remember. I, I just did it. You know, it's kind of like the 80s. Right. If you were there. <laughs> you know, but uh, I, I've had oh. a, one of the, the best thing about this it's business. Steve reminds me right now. So bad. This is, uh, it seems like a comedian coming unraveled. Uh. And it's like. There's so much interesting stuff to talk to this guy about because he's he's a, he is a legend in Boston, uh -huh. and he's a he's a he's a really solid act, and, and he got, and he's got some bitterness to him, which is great. There's something there that he's really seems depressed about something. Right. Like why wouldn't you want? To, he didn't want to go into it, but why not just have a real wow. conversation with yeah, him? I would yeah. much rather hear that. Of course, <sighs> you feel the same way because we've had a lot of conversations. I have worked with people in my field that were my heroes. I worked with George Carlin. Unbelievable. I followed <laughs> Richard Pryor at the comedy store. I was good friends wow. with Rodney Dangerfield. So, you know, <laughs> now that now that I have one <laughs> foot in the grave. Wait, who um, did that? Sibby, <laughs> Sibby's impression was really good. This is why he's a co-host. Sibby yeah. did a Rodney impression. He he kind of pulled at the <laughs> neck of his shirt. <laughs> and Black went, vest. <laughs> that was either, yeah, Rodney Dangerfield or Frankenstein. <laughs> <laughs> See, no, it was, it was, oh, it was oh. fucking Omar. Oh. As he went oh. thrown out of the oh. helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Fuck. You expect me to believe Sippy was a co-host? <laughs> because because Sippy says so. Sippy says so. <laughs>
Let's, let's hear the Rodney impression. Yeah, that's great. It's great. With people in my field that were my heroes. Mm. I worked with George Carlin. Unbelievable. Yeah. I followed Richard Pryor at the Comedy Store. I was good friends wow. with Rodney Dangerfield. So, you know, <laughs> now, that, now that I have one foot in the grave, I... You're here on our show, thank you. You know, getting back to death, because it's so important to talk one. about this. I, this is what I want to do. What do they call it when they burn you? Oh. Cremate. Hiring they you cremate you. Are you stoned? <laughs> <laughs> you kind of, kind of, I've never seen him this focused. Anyway, so this is what I want to do. Sarah, by the way, he great music. Like a guy. <laughs> He sounds like a guy ready to commit suicide. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Steve yeah. Sweeney sounds like he, unless he, unless this is a total put on. No, he's know. mad he about. He sounds like a, a very sad guy right now who is ready to commit suicide. Because he's probably sitting there going, "This is what it's come down to." I'm doing a public access TV that's on in the middle of the fucking yeah, that's night. That's pretty much it. And and he and he thought it was going to be something else, so he's probably excited going into it. Wow, he sounds really depressed. Yeah, something going on there. Oh, Great you. music. Um, so I want them to cremate me, get my ashes, put them in an ashtray, dump them on a carpet, and I want David Oreck himself <laughs> with his latest vacuum cleaner to vacuum me up. What do you think? Uh, I would like to see you get sucked up by an Oreck. Yes, that would be kind of cool, yes. We started out on the wrong foot. So now yes. you, you, you've oh, wow. been on Letterman, you've been in some of these movies, now you've made it to the top, so your career is actually getting better as you're getting older. So Where do we go to? All over the place. We go to seven, eight, ten homes now that we're on five. <laughs> ten. So we're going as far as west as Wayland and as uh, far as, east as Waltham, Quincy, something like that? We're, we're going from Quincy to Hull. Uh, and then maybe from Queens to Dorchester. You okay. Know. So we get a All good right. signal, yeah. Well, for those of you who ever, you know, yeah, I know yeah. there's a big difference. The South Shore and the North Shore. They act like it's Germany. There should be like a wall. It's like there's not that much difference, I hate to tell you. But anyway, wow. Quincy is the home not only of two presidents, but it is the greatest place in the world for an emergency manicure, pedicure, <laughs> Holy crap, or massage. Yeah. You know, this audience sucks, I'm going to tell you right now. This is, this is A material. Oh, it's tough. This is, this is A stuff. Oh, man, I know. Like, I'm the only one trashing. laughing is the executive producer who looks like a homeless guy. <laughs> but I like him. <laughs> so uh, this has been a real thrill. He's ending I have absolutely segment. nothing to plug. Oh, yes, I do. This is Fox, right? Yes. Right. I have a show that's coming on in Fox. It's going to be on Sundays. I am the host. It's a reality show, Sibby. It's called Catch an Illegal Alien. <laughs> now, we are shooting them at Home Depots all over the country. <laughs> now, this is how the show works. <laughs> One guy runs up the aisle, yeah. you know, and you go by the usual guy that gives you directions at Home Depot. Oh, yeah, I don't know where it is. Maybe. And if you catch the illegal alien before the other guy, you and your family get a trip to his country of origin. So, <laughs> so you can go to the Dominican Republic, the, you know, Guatemala. It's kind of, we're, we're very excited. Holy so shit. So this is it, the end of my life. Wow. <laughs> Thank you for witnessing it. It's oh, by the way, sir, I was very disappointed because, I hope I can get through this, I really thought I had a shot at being the Pope. Oh, yeah, I, I would have liked the hat, the slippers, <laughs> the Pope mobile, get up there. Yeah, 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 yeah. If I were Pope, here's what I'm doing. I'm bringing back two places that you kids don't know about, but I remember them growing up. They're called Purgatory and Limbo. Kind of a, kind of a Malden Everett feel to them. <laughs> now, Limbo was wow. your soul. It's just kind of rocketed. It's kind of the NASA program. Now purgatory, God looks at your life and says, Sib, come on, you've been a dick. Right. <laughs> but, Sorry, God. But, but I'm not sending you to Lynn. So, <laughs> so you're going to stay in Everett for a while. Oh, oh man. man, you know what? Hey, thank you. Thank you very much. All right, thank you. You've got to give it up. It's Tweety Tweety from Tweety Playhouse. How was that? Was that very excellent? That was good. There you go. Uh, Steve Sweeney on Scorch PMP. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
first made for Fox TV show on Scorch's PFG TV. We're coming right back. Oh, God. Wow, so that wraps up our very first Made for Fox TV show. I want to thank our special guests, Sarah and Lisa, uh, Sarah Lakita and Lisa Dario. You can't forget about them. Scott Young, oh Olympic God, player, yeah, professional so hockey great. player, and so much and, more. And of course, the one and only Steve Sweeney. Thank oh, you all yeah. for coming out to the show. It was a great show. Uh, start next week. I had a ball. Oh. Next week, we're going to talk to you about the PFG spot. Now, you might be able to become one of the hotties, one of Scorch's hotties on the PFG. Uh, spot. Uh, so for now, Scorch for my pal Sibby uh, and for myself, check out ScorchesPFGTV.com for everything else. I will see you next week right here live on Fox 25. See you later. Bye. <laughs>I hope so. I would assume so. Yeah, I definitely want to hear the behind the scenes. Oh God, do I? <laughs> I want to hear what what what's happening behind the cameras. Yes. I want to hear how big the audience is. I want to hear what the problems were with Scorch. <laughs> if he's still speaking at all with Sibby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got to be mad at Sibby for uh, getting him involved with that. Jesus. All right. We're gonna take a break and Oof. we're gonna wrap up our show mm. after these messages.